Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video session, we are going to learn J unit ignore test. So, we will be learning how annotation ignore is being used and why it is used. So, why ignore annotation is being used? Suppose we are having 5 test cases and we have combined it in one test suit. Now, very first time I am running the test suit and I am executing 5 test cases. Now the system has been modified and I need to check only 4 test cases whether it is being executed correctly or not, whether they are working fine or not. It means I do not need to run one test case. For that one test case, I need to ignore that test case. So, whatever test case you want to ignore for your current execution, you will just write at the rate ignore annotation above that test method. So, whenever you are executing test, you will be seeing that the methods which are marked as ignore, that methods will be skipped for that particular test execution and you will be seeing in result also that those methods are being skipped. So, to ignore any test case method for the particular or for the current test execution at the rate ignore annotation is used. Now, we will see practically that how it is used. Let us see how ignore can be worked in J unit and how one particular test case can be ignored for a current test suit or test case execution. For that, we have taken one example and we have created one project in which we are having one class message util which is utilizing message object and we have created one data member as message which is of argue object type string then we have created one constructor using which will be assigning the value to this data member and we have created two method that is print message and salutation message print message will be printing just the value of message data member and in salutation message high string will be appended before the message data members value so it will be printing high and then the value of the message variable so this is the bees class in which we are having two methods now we are having one test class in which we are creating two test cases the very first test case is test print message so over here I am comparing and I am testing for this method that is print message so I am comparing whether the actual argument and expected argument are proper or not so it should be printing the same value that we have assigned that is robot to this message value same way I have created one another test that is test salutation message and now we are inside salutation message over here I need to append hi and then I need to compare whether the appended salutation message is as per expected result or not so two test cases have been created now let us run this test case using test runner class so I am passing that test j unit class to run classes and I am running it and for failure it will be notifying the failure strings and if it is not failed then true will be returned as result is successful so let's run this and check how actually it is going to be run so it is running properly now let us run this file that is test j unit file just run as j unit test and you will be having this method that this method are successful now over here you are having two test methods executed that we are testing print message as well as we are printing or testing salutation message suppose you don't want to execute one of this method you just need to write at the red ignore annotation before the method that you want to ignore for the current execution so now as you have written this 
annotation you need to import the respective file and after respective file importing respective file just save the program and just run it again so from here you can also run now only this method that is test salutation message so only this test has been executed so you can have only the value of this method in the console and over here you can see that this has been skipped you can see the icon that is skipped so test print message has been skipped or ignored for this particular test case execution now just remove it save it and run it again you can see that now both the test case has been executed same way whatever method you want to ignore just type ignore import the respective file if it is not imported save the program and run it again now test salutation message test case has been skipped and test print message test has been executed so it is printed over console so this is how we can use at the rate ignore annotation to ignore the particular test case or test suite for the particular test case or test suite execution thank you